Okay, so here I am in Blender showcasing a new um, model that I've made that hasn't quite made it into the game. Um, this is a tree stump model, as you can see, um, that acts as one of the kind of natural primitives that will be interspersed in a certain area of uh, the landscape, one kind of specific trajectory of the landscape that I'll be showcasing a little bit of later on in this video. Um, this is one of the many unique primitives that I am making for the game, and um, I'm, I've gotten very comfortable and confident in my UV texturing and um, in my uh, modeling abilities. So I'm at this really good place right now where the mechanics of the game are, are still functioning very, very well, very, very fluidly, and now I'm just kind of populating the game with a lot of primitives like this and like other primitives that I'll show you now. So I'm going to switch over to Unity really quick, and we'll see that we're kind of in a similar position as before, uh, hanging out with our Wanderer guy. I'm going to go ahead and go in-game and show some of the new primitives and, and, and new aspects to the game uh, that I've developed since last we spoke. Um, one of the new primitives that will be existing in the game um, are these uh fallen trees. And these fallen trees will have um, a, a kind of storytelling element along with them, um, similar to the signpost that we've seen previously. But an added bonus to uh, these tree primitives is, um, and these will be happening uh, kind of later in the game, it won't be happening as early as we'll be seeing here, but I just thought that I'll be showcasing it here. Um, one of the things that happens is that when you reach a certain collision limit with this tree, um, it starts going through this animation cycle and starts freaking out. Um, this uh, this animation will become kind of more apparent and more uh, um, in line with other elements in the scenery of the path that this is on. Uh, I just wanted to give a kind of uh, preview of some of that and also kind of show off some of the modeling um, that I've been doing and some of the animation. So I'm really happy with that and really happy with that progress. Um, uh, another primitive that I've been introducing slowly into the game has been these ruins prim primitives. Um, these ruins are um, part of a certain track and trajectory of the game uh, that has to do with uh, ruins, of course like romantic landscape ruins, but also ruins that um, mimic or at least uh, speak to um, a kind of digital detritus and digital decay. Um, so this, I um, just wanted to showcase that primitive. And I'm going to go a little bit further down here on the path. You'll notice that more of the environment has been textured. Uh, I've developed more kind of discrete and succinct pathways that will be kind of choices of different um, narratives to go on. And we'll see here that I need to, actually now that I'm kind of looking at it, I need to smooth out this area just a little bit but we'll see here that I have this cabin primitive that will actually be one of the uh, ending routes to the game. A kind of one of the cabins will be uh, specifically an ending route. But I just wanted to kind of give you uh, a preview for this cabin and give you a preview of some of the text that it's associated with this cabin. So this is a cabin. I've been using this this kind of voice a lot in the writing that I've been developing for this game. Um, kind of very sparse, very almost uh, satirical, and a, a, a pastiche, if you will, of, of the kind of uh, game narrative that will be throughout the, the game. But uh, this, this part says, this is a cabin. It is not your home, but it feels familiar. You wish it would be a place to rest, a place to call your own, but it is not. And as a result, you come to realize that maybe there is no place which you'll be able to identify as being wholly your own. And so this sentiment, um, this kind of pathway here, uh, will be developed to have some of these primitives that I've been showing before, uh, but it will also be developed in such a way uh, that it will be kind of this idea of romanticism, um, or one of these threads of romanticism having to do with isolation, and specifically having to do with uh, kind of remoteness. Uh, so look forward to showing and developing more of that. I still have, you know, a substantial amount of work to do on this project, but I'm feeling as I said, in a really good place. One of the next big steps that I want to do is really um, uh, take care of the skybox, which as you see is still this kind of default cornflower blue, and I really want to uh, make that skybox uh, uh, 
develop that skybox and also develop this, the sun effects and the volumetric sun effects that I want to be present in this game. Um, so that is kind of an update on some of the stuff that I've been working on. Um, there's more stuff, uh, including script elements and um, some other uh, animation elements, but I haven't had a chance to implement them in game yet. Uh, but luckily that process is really straightforward and we'll be revving up more soon. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, look forward to sharing more soon.